Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be looking at Remix Video from Mix Vibes. Remix Video is an audio and video mixing application that runs on both Mac and Windows computers. You can start video mixing without fussing about with complicated settings or a complex user interface. It even comes with a set of visuals for you to experiment with. You'll see that the software is divided into five different sections. The top bar gives you some basic controls like BPM, quantize, record on and off, and the audio levels. There are also buttons for more advanced settings like Ableton Link, full screen video output, and the software preferences. On the right hand side of the software, we have buttons to switch between the pad view, mixer view, clip properties, and file browser. In the center is the main section of the software, and that is where we have the pad view. You can drag and drop video and audio clips into an empty pad or into a pad that already has a clip to overwrite it. You can start and stop clips by clicking on them to start them and clicking on them again to stop them. The pad view is separated into color-coded vertical columns and horizontal rows. You can play clips in multiple rows at the same time. However, you can only play one clip per column. As we see here, on our leftmost column, we have the top clip playing. If we select the clip underneath it, you'll see that the top clip stops playing and the bottom clip now will start playing. That is the same if you were to select any other clips in the other columns. So I'll select some other clips here and you'll see that because they're in the same column, they will overwrite the clip that is already playing in that column. On the left hand side of the user interface, we have the mixed video output. This will show us the mixed video signal that is going to be going to our external display. Above the output, we see the word screen. If we click on that, we can choose between one of the seven mixing modes that we would like to use. So right now it's on screen, but we could select layers or stripes or add or multiply or the other mixing modes that are available in the software. So for now, we'll set this back to screen. Underneath the video output is the effects section. There are currently 18 video effects which are controlled on an XY pad. Right now, the effect that we have selected is color edge, but we can click on that similar like we would with the video mixing modes and select one of the 18 different effects. So we're gonna go ahead and select the kaleidoscope. And now if we click and hold on the XY pad, you'll see that the effect is enabled. And as you move the cursor around while you hold down the mouse, it changes the effect parameters. Another way to use the effects is to lock in the effect. To do that, you're gonna go up here and click on the little lock icon, and that will continually use that effect until you press the icon again to disable it. This is really useful if you want to have an effect run for a long time and you don't wanna continually hold down the button on your mouse. One thing that's important in any video mixing application is the ability to output the mixed signal to a secondary display. This display could be another monitor or a projector or a TV or any type of screen that you want to have these visuals appear on. So to output your video mix to a secondary display, you're gonna go up to the top right and click on this monitor icon. Then you're gonna to wanna to select the display that you want to use. You should know that you cannot select the same display that Remix Video is currently running on. That means that you never have to worry about selecting your main display and covering the screen with your output. The last section of the software we'll be looking at in this introduction to Remix Video is the mixer panel. To access the mixer panel, you're gonna to wanna to click on the second icon on the right to switch from the pad view to the mixer view. Each column in the mixer view corresponds to the same column in the pad view. And you'll notice that each column has its own audio and video controls. The top four knobs affect the audio of the clips that you have playing in the column. You have a three band EQ with high, mid, and low controls. And below that is a one knob filter so that you can either use a high or low pass filter with just one knob. Below the knobs, we have a dual purpose fader that controls the opacity of the video clip and the volume of the audio clip that is playing in that column. Underneath the fader, we have mute and solo buttons, and finally, the audio level meter for that column. You'll be using these controls to creatively mix together the video and audio clips that you're playing in Remix Video. If you want to switch back to the pad view from the mixer view, simply click on the pad icon on the right side of the software.
I hope that you enjoyed this introduction to Remix video from Mix5s. There are a lot of additional features that we didn't cover in this video. So if you like more information on pricing and the complete software feature list, visit mixvibes.com. If you're interested in seeing more video tutorials on Remix video, be sure to leave a comment with what you would like to see and subscribe to get notified when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.